Shalom, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rucha HaKodash, double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone, honors, salutations, and blessings to the house of David, which is the elect, starting with the 144,000 prophets, and the rest of the men, women, and children that are listening and learning, staying in Holy Spirit, and keeping the faith of Yahweh Shai day in and day out. So I just wanted to touch on this um, this post all right, uh, that I seen. It was uh, reposted by uh, Zero Hedge um, of this woman, Christine Ruby. Um, I'm not familiar with her, uh, who she is. However, uh, based off of her profile, she seems to be some type of uh, uh, journalist or something to that effect. Um, but nonetheless, I came across what she said here, and I'm going to read it. And it had me, um, you know, just thinking about how, you know, even, you know, every day we, you know, we're constantly... You know, we speak about prophecy as the scriptures tells us to, um, you know, watch for, uh, you know, prophecy, be meditate, be meditate, meditate in prophecies. Um, however, a lot of times we tend to think that, well, I can't say we tend to think that, but um, a lot of times it can be viewed as prophecy is something that takes place in, you know, at, at one specific time. Like this is fulfilled like right now, like say, for instance, um, like the MOTB, right? Now we know obviously there's going to come to a point where the MOTB is uh, a mandated, right? But however, when we read the scriptures, it speaks about in uh, Revelation 13 chapter about he causeth, okay? Which we've gone into plenty of times and that word causeth being uh, paeo, which is to form fashion to uh, prepare or make ready. OK, and, and we are actually living in that prophecy right now. All right. Prophecy is a is a succession of events that leads to the fulfillment of something that the Lord stated was going to take place. OK, so, for instance, and as I as I read uh, what she says, you know, uh, Lord willing, the picture will become clearer, clearer on what I'm uh, speaking about. So. Um, let's read it. It says, I am extremely disturbed by what I witnessed in lower Manhattan last night. I live on Wall Street. I lived on Wall Street for years directly across from the uh, New York Stock Exchange. Last night, I went to grab a few items at Rite Aid. And when you read um, other posts, she actually corrected and said it was a, a Dwayne Reed, uh, not a Rite Aid. So um it says, only to find out that almost everything was behind a lock. I asked an employee how often things are stolen from the store. He said, every day, numerous times a day. I was shocked. Next, the employee told me that even when they catch a criminal, they can't do anything unless the criminal is a repeat offender at the location. When they do take action, the offender is let out almost instantly only to start stealing from the store all over again. I have no words for what I see happening to the city that I no longer recognize. Before I left the store, he said this, they give the criminals more power than the workers. New York City is completely out of control. Why are we empowering criminals? And then she has a few pictures of various different uh, items, food items and other uh, goods that are... Um, locked up okay um you know behind you know on the shelves behind a lock and you know even at the uh, walmart that is uh by my house um there's there's been a few items that have been locked up that uh you know before wasn't all right you know you could have easily just accessed them but now you have to get a um a uh, an employee to come and unlock you know the item that you uh you don't want to you know want to get, and um, this just made me think of a uh, uh, of how they are at this very you know time period they are making moves in the you know in America to make ready the MOTB. All right, and and the fact that they are letting out the criminals, all right, the people who are stealing, right, is a Hegelian dialectic uh, 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 tactic, all right, a problem, reaction, solution, because the problem is 
people, you know, can't afford certain things. Now, not everybody who is stealing are just doing it because they can't afford it. You do have actual, you know, criminals and things of that nature. Um, but you do also have a lot of people who just really can't afford afford these things, all right, because of inflation, because uh, you know, joblessness, et cetera, et cetera. So instead of helping those people, right, instead of the government trying to assist those people to be able to afford uh um, you know, these items, they just don't criminalize them. So they allow them to steal as a the the um uh, quote, you know, the employee said they allow them to steal. And then when they get caught, they just get uh, released immediately. And that's why, you know, the employee said that that quote, they give the criminals more power than the workers. And that's ultimately to continue to to continue to cause a problem. And and we've heard about it, you know, starting what, over two years ago, um, how a lot of different stores throughout the uh, throughout America have been experiencing a lot of theft, right? Retail, retail theft in their stores. And that's why, uh, you know, they're, they're locking up these things. Okay. But them locking up items, that's something that is going to continue to happen. And they want it to happen so that now when you go to stores, when the whole, and when the whole system transfers to the MOTB system, the digital system, you won't be able to just go into a store and just pick up items off of the shelf. You're going to need uh, 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 to be granted access to pick up these items, to, to, to get these items. And how are you going to be able to, how are they going to ensure that people are compliant and uh, able to get these uh, items is going to be by way of uh, a tracking system. And what tracking system is that going to be? Okay, what are, what are, what have we always been uh, speaking about? The uh, implantable RFID microchip. Okay, which that is spoken about in the book, book of Revelation as a prophecy that is going to come to pass, and we are currently watching, living, seeing. Well, the ones who us are, are seeing it are seeing that actually um take place the uh, system in society being changed to be accept for for the for the chip to be uh, um you know accepted in the society or not accepted but a part of it rather now there was another quote um uh, from this article somebody responded to that let's see if i can yeah so this was a response to what she said um, here, a guy, because I was just looking through the comments. It says, unfortunately, it is early. It is the early beginning of the end of civil behavior. Today, it's convenience stores and shopping centers. Tomorrow, it will be our homes. And, you know, that's why they are, uh, uh, you know, creating 15 minute cities. You know, they're pushing toward all electric uh, vehicles. Because when they're when you're able to have uh, uh, you know electric vehicles, there it would that means it's it's going to be able to be remotely accessed, you know, by whoever you know has that control, has that power, and it shows you that in the movie uh, "Leave the War Behind" with the uh, Teslas, but it was just driving, and it was all just crashing so that it was blocking people in, uh, not allowing people to uh, access the roads. So this is all a a, uh, a a coordinated event by Esau Edom, the devil, to bring forth that uh, system of not being able to buy or sell unless you have the Karagma. All right. And, and this right here is. This right here is um, um, a part of that. This is, uh, like I said, this is the, the, the beginning stages of it. Now, the thing is. As the scripture says in the book of Revelation 12 and 12, that he knows that he has but a short time. So although it's, you know, uh, um, although it's happening, it seems as, as no, it, it's gra it's gradualism, right? It's happening at a gradualistic uh, uh, stage, a gradualistic, um, you know, uh, 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 procession. 
But eventually, because, as the scripture says, let's get it, Revelation 12, verse 12, Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Right? So because... Things, are the, you know, the Lord is, is shortening the days, right? Because you got various different, um, you know, uh, uh, events happening, okay? Uh, these other nations that are trying to move away from the dollar, uh, uh, you know, war that is breaking out between various different nations and kingdoms. All those things, all these things are uh, threatening to uh, uh, the global stability that, Esau Edom uh, uh, wants in his kingdom. So what is he ultimately going to do? He's going to try to bring in a, a new world order under the uh, uh, guise of having stability in the earth and being able, and they always say it all, oh, these, these, we're doing these things for your benefit, right? We're doing these things because, right, uh, uh, you know, there's so much crime and so much retail theft that we got to lock these things up. But, you know, it's not going to just stop there. It's all, it's all eventually going to lead up to, well, if you want to now be able to go into stores and you want to be able to buy things. And they showed you that in, um, what was that, in uh, in Aldi's? I believe it was in the UK that you need a, a QR code um, in order to get inside the, um, to get inside of the um, the grocery store, Right. You got the whole palm, palm, uh, pay with your palm that Amazon is doing at the Whole Foods. And you have other um, venues that are actually adopting that uh, that payment system. And that's all just once again, that's priming is prepping of the mind. This right here is all prepping of the, uh, the society that they ultimately are about to usher in. OK, you have other. Uh, you know, stores like Target or, you know, Walmarts that now have cameras, right, in, in these uh, areas. I believe I saw a couple months ago that in order, I forgot where it was at, but in order to get into a uh, convenience store at a, at a, uh, at a, at a uh, gas station, you had to stand at a specific spot and then look up. And so, so you can get your biometrics read in, in order for the door to open. All of this is the type of society that they're, you know, fashioning or forming to prepare to get to for the citizens of, of the world, not just America, but they want this everywhere. OK, that's why it says in the book of Revelation, and we'll get it. Uh, Revelation 13, verse uh, 16, it says, and he causeth all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a karagma. In their right hand or in their foreheads. Okay. And like I said, when you go into the word uh, causeth is paeo, which means to make, to construct, to produce, to form, to fashion, to make ready to prepare. Okay. That's in the, and, and the way that they're making ready and preparing is by things like this. All right. It is by, uh, uh, moving towards CBDC, central bank digital currencies. So, you know, we're, we are living in the prophecy of the MOTB. It just hasn't been completely fulfilled yet. But, and when you look at society and you look at how things are going, clearly this is the uh, path that we're down, that the, that the world is going down. And, you know, this is, <laughs> she says that the American empire is collapsing. Things are much worse than people realize. I don't think people really understand how bad New York City is right now. The media is focused on San Fran. I'm not sure why New York is bad. Okay. And, and once again, it's something that is going to be happening more and more. And it's going to be just like how they did the Operation Warp Speed with the V. But they're going to have an Operation Warp Speed with the MOTB as well. Okay. And it's the, you know, the ones of us that are watching that's why how wish i always uh um stressed to be watching so that you're not caught unawares right so that you so you you know you know what time it is and you know what's going on in your um 
and you're prepared for it. Is it here? Yep. Uh, Mark chapter 13, verse um, verse 34. So like y'all start at verse 33. It says, take ye heed, watch and pray for ye know not when the time is for the son of man is as a man taking a far journey who left his house and gave authority to his servants and to every man his work and commanded the porter to watch. All right. And that's the position that the uh, Yahweh Bashim al has put the prophets in. All right. As he told Habakkuk, as he told Ezekiel, I've made thee a watchman. Okay. Uh, 35. Watch ye therefore, for ye know not when the master of the house cometh at even at the midnight or at the cock uh, cock crowing or in the morning. So we don't know exactly when Yahweh is going to return, but he gave us the signs of his return. All right. And those signs are prophecies. And those prophecies are a succession of events that lead up to the fulfillment of it. It says, at least coming suddenly, he find you sleeping. Meaning what? Not paying attention. Being in, in, in uh, you know, um, overcharged with the cares of this world. Being entangled with the affairs of this life. Verse 37. And what I say unto you, I say unto all, watch. All right. So hey, we got to continue to watch because every day the Lord is going is, is working. All right. We're in a time of the end. We're in a time of uh, Jacob's, you know, uh, the, the, the beginning of sorrows. All right. We're in a time of, you know, at any moment, these things can take a, 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 a hyper, you know, go into hyperdrive. But. What we can say is that it's already happening. All right. These things are already happening. We're already in World War Three. We're already in a time, you know, uh, of uh, uh, sedition among men. OK, so, you know, I'm in it there, Lord willing. This is edifying unto the elect, giving all praises, honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakwadash. Until next time, Shalom.